Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is a tricky IGCSE question. Um, let's let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So, what do we have here? We have a rectangle in which AB is twice the length of um, BD, and we've got this is a triangle over here, uh, and we have the side lengths x minus three, x minus two. Uh, the area of this one is S centimeters squared okay so that area is s find that s can be written as a quadratic in terms of x okay well i don't know the side lengths yet of this um this rectangle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just call the smaller one which is bd i'm going to call that y and therefore this one at the top would be 2y so straight away I've got an expression for my area um, which is going to be 2y times y which is 2y squared. Okay that's helpful um, but what I'll need to do is I'll need to express y in terms of x so that I can express s in terms of x and I can express y using the cosine rule. So the cosine rule states that the side which is opposite the angle in this case is the y squared is equal to the two sides adjacent to the angle which are x minus 3 squared and x minus 2 squared minus two lots of those sides multiplied together multiplied by cosine of the angle which is 120 okay great so y squared is equal to when I expand these brackets um, this is a double bracket so I'd have to do x minus 3 x minus 3 this would give me x squared it would give me a minus 3x it would give me another minus 3x and it would give me a plus 9 Okay, this next one, um, again, I'd have to do a double bracket here. So I'd get x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4. I expanded that one. And the next one, I could be very careful. Or actually, I could be a bit sneaky here. Because, because, because um, I know what cos of 120 is, because I know my exact values, I can cancel that with the with the two. Uh, so on your calculator, it might be worth doing first off just what is cos of 120. So it might be a nice neat number, and that one is nice and neat. It's minus a half. Okay, so what does that mean? So rather than uh, getting myself confused, I can cancel the cos of 120 and the two because two times a half is just one. And because cos of 120 is negative a half, and there's a negative there, two negatives make a plus. Great, so all I need to do is just add on the expansion of this bracket, which is x squared. I'm gonna get a minus three x, and I'm gonna get a minus two x, and I'm going to get a plus six. Okay, great. Right, let's tidy this up a bit then. So what I would do is I would look at all my x squared terms. How many have I got? I've got three x squareds. Okay, so that's three x squareds. And then what about my uh, x terms? Okay, count with me. Minus three, minus six, minus eight, minus 10, minus 13, minus 15. Okay, great, that gives me minus 15x. And then I've got here 9, 4, and 6, which makes 19. Lovely. And just as I'm doing this, if you're interested in doing some a live session with me this weekend, then link below in the description. Check it out. Uh, and what can I do next? Well, I'm good, actually. I've got an expression for y in terms of... Um, uh, x and in fact I've got an expression for y squared so let's just do this the simplest way and say that s which I need to find is equal to 2y squared from what I uh, ascertained at the top so that's just equal to 2 lots of 
y squared. So no need to square root, no need to make our life more tricky. Let's just expand that out, and that gives me my final answer of 6x squared minus 30x plus 38. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was useful. Did you get that right? Let me know in the comments, and check out my live sessions coming at you. Looking forward to it already. Let's go.